What's up Popper Poppers? Today I'm going to show you how to make music like Halo. For today's tutorial, I remade part of his new song Lavender, which sounds a little something like this. I expect a better me to finally go away. So if you want to make music like Halo, you've got to make your sounds unique. What I did to recreate this guitar is play a lot of different parts and just chop them up. But one thing that I noticed was that sometimes he had some like pitch shifting kind of stuff going on. And what I mean by that is parts like this. And so what you're gonna do for this is use frequency shifting. And the way that you do that in Ableton is just click clip and then transposition. And then you can kind of just automate whatever notes sound good to your ear. If you're in FL Studio, Band Lab, or another DAW, you can just use a normal frequency shifter plugin that you can find for free online. Another thing that allows you to take your loops to the next level is to put it into a sampler. So what I did was go into resampling mode and record the whole sample. Then I took that loop and dragged it into the Ableton sampler. Once in here, you can do a lot of different stuff, but what I like to focus on is using the pitch envelope, which allows me to get this kind of like swoopy pitch kind of like fucked up sound that I really like. The things I usually mess with are just the shape and the amount. So once you do that, you can get something like this. Also, when you put it into a sampler, it gives it this weird, unique texture that you can't get by just putting sounds together. The key here is just to pitch your samples, stretch them, do all sorts of crazy shit just to try to make it sound more unique. Next, I wanna talk about the drums. One thing that Halo likes to do a lot is to use drum variation. The snare is actually a perfect example in this song because every second and sixth snare, it's a different snare sample. I expect a better me to finally go away. I forgot that you were mine and that you exist. What this is intended to do is just to help make the beat more interesting. Another thing I noticed with his snare sounds is that they're almost always in key. This is something to keep in mind because you may be picking the right sample, but it may not be in the right pitch. Don't take my word for it though, check it out. This is the snare sound before I pitched it. Here's after. Another thing to mess with is transient shaping, and I like to use drum bus for this, but if you're in another DAW, any transient shaper will work. You just need to be able to mess with the sustain. As far as the kick sound goes, he likes to use a lot of almost dubstepy kind of electronic type sounds. A couple packs I like for this are the Mode Step Bass Evolution Pack on Splice, as well as the Umru kits. Also, if you're looking for some fire drum sounds for this kind of stuff, make sure to check out my free kits in the link below. One thing that's really unique to Halo is that he uses a lot of different textures in his beats. There are a lot of different ways to do this. It's usually just a lot of experimentation, but here are a few that can help get you started. In this particular Beat, all I did was take a hi-hat pattern and then added some delay and then all I did was mess with the dry wet to get different kind of textures check it out while I was doing this I was resampling it to another track after this I just chopped it up into little bits added auto pan and got this Kind of random sounding, but it just adds a little texture to the beat that I think sounds really cool. Another thing to mess with is Foley samples. So it could be toothbrush scrubbing, wind, it could be footsteps. Any kind of Foley sound will work. Once you do this, you can mess with chopping it, pitching it, kind of glitching it, just anything to give you this kind of like prickly kind of sound that is really popular in Halox music. After that, in terms of the drums, it's just adding little percussion type sounds to help add variation. Or a reverse stomp. A quick tip on these reverse stomps is to use them every eight bars or 16 bars to help you transition from one section of the song to the next. After that, we've got the bass. Now, for this kind of music, you can either use an 808 or a serum bass. For this one, I decided to use an 808. Here's what it sounds like with no effects. Good sounding 808, once again from my pack, but it's not a Halo 808 because most of his basses have a lot of high-end kind of noisy content. What you can get that is either add white noise in your sound or you can use a plugin to do it. I decided to use erosion on this one. Here's what it sounds like. After this, it's really just shaping the sound with different distortions. Saturn and the Ableton amp are some of my favorites to use, and here's what they do. Something to keep in mind is that distortion can be overbearing a lot, so sometimes you need to EQ to kind of tame it, or mess with the dry weight or mix knob if your plugin has it. After that, we've got the vocals, which in Halo's music are pretty simple for the most part. The main thing that makes his music so interesting is just his raw voice, but some things you can do to help are to use layering. And one of the things he does a lot is he'll have his main vocal layer. I expect a better me to finally come away. But what he'll do to add texture is to add these higher layers. Here's what those sound like on their own. I expect a better me to finally come away. Here's what they sound like all together. I expect a better me to finally come away. As far as the processing goes, pretty simple. We got auto tune, a little bit of DSing, EQ, compression, fresh air. But a lot of his vocals have kind of a grittiness to it. And the way that you can do that is to add saturation and distortion. One of my favorites is the Ableton Saturator for this, but I also decided to use a little bit of Decapitator just to give it a little bit of extra edge. If you're in another doll, you can always use the plugin like Temper, which is free, or you can just use your stock distortion and mess with the mix or dry wet knob. The vocal was pretty dry in this song, but I could tell that in some spaces, reverb was being added. And so one thing I like to do to do this is actually to sidechain my reverb. The way that I did this was had a send with the reverb, mix all the way up, saturating it a little bit, just to give it a little extra texture, EQing it, and then adding a compressor, hitting sidechain, 
and then we want the audio from the lead one basically to determine our side chain and what this is doing is that every time i sing the reverb is being ducked and so when i don't sing and there's silence the reverb kind of comes in and fills that space i like using this compressor because you can actually see the gain reduction happening and that's a good thing i'm making progress as you can see, the reverb is really just filling in those spaces. Now, the last thing to test out on these kind of songs is different mastering techniques. One of the things I like to do is use this saturator and kind of blow it out and pull it back until I think it sounds good. Some of his songs are really pushed and almost sound like distorted in a cool way. Also got a little fresh air right here, just kind of making sure it's nice and bright. Lastly, to finish it off, we got the Parallel 2 on the practically clipping setting, but any limiter will do. Just comes down to experimentation and what sounds good to your ear. Now, if you've been following along and have done all that, it should sound a little something like this. I expect a better me to finally go away, but the hope I'm losing drifting away. I forgot that you were mine and that you exist And that's a good thing I'm making progress Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Also, if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see in the future, make sure to let me know below. Also, always feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I'm here to help in whatever way that I can. Regardless of anything though, have an amazing rest of your week. Keep vibing and I'll see you next time. Love you.